on. Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully you all can hear me. I'm going to turn to Facebook on my phone so I can see who's on there. Ouch. And if people can hear me. Because earlier... Hopefully you all can hear okay. me. Okay. They can hear me. That's all that matters is that I'm heard. So I came back on here because I want to make sure that the message came. And generally, I don't have this much trouble out of, out of these devices. So obviously, this is an important message for somebody listening. Hello, how are you doing? And I'm not saying it's for you, but I've never... I've have I have several almost maybe three almost 300 videos where I went live with messages and I've never had it freeze and stop working this many times during one broadcast. So this is important. I said, okay, God, if this is important because all this this chaos is going on, I'm going to get this message out. So I came back on here and you see on Facebook it's and on Periscope it says this is not a test. This is actually the second version. So I'm going to repeat some of the things that were on the first one that you all missed because it's important that you get messages out. So I am Jackie. I'm the founder and director of Route to Victory. Route to Victory was created to help you learn money management to reduce debt. Hello, hi, hi, cat. And build self-reliance. So like I said, the title of it, this is Wednesday Wisdom. The title of it is, this is not a test. And this is my second go around. So this is part two. For those church people who may listen to it, um, I'm going to give you a verse. It's Revelations 3 and 8. It talks about an open door. It talks about an open door. This is not a test. So I have two stories for you all. One of them you may not re exactly relate to, but I just want you to listen to it. I was 18 years old, four days before my 19th birthday and my water broke. I was living with my mom and everybody was freaking out. I was very calm. First time having a baby, but I was calm. The paramedics got me to the hospital during the labor and delivery the doctor and the nurse kept saying push jackie push and i had that deer in the head like look why did i have that that look you might ask because i didn't know how to push now it seems like a simple way to solve it would be just to ask but I was scared to ask. I couldn't even, I didn't even have a vision of how to push. They kept just telling me to push, 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 push. Don't you know how to push, push, push? I couldn't talk. I wasn't, I, I was calm, but at the same time, I was scared. I was scared to ask for help. I could not envision what I was supposed to do. Didn't know what I was supposed to do. I had no coaching and no training. And I was about to give birth to a child. So you see, I was like this. This is my other story. I'm going to tell you all what this has to do with financial finances and financial freedom. 
I lived in Little Rock, Arkansas, and there was a tornado. My kids were small. We had a dog and a cat. That part of the story don't really matter, I guess. But <laughs> it's extra. We had a dog and a cat and the kids, and I was married at the time. And so the kids and I got into a closet. And we used something that looked like mattresses and stuff to cover us. And the kids noticed that their dad was not with us. So they're like, oh, mommy, daddy's not here, blah, 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 daddy's not here. So I screamed for him. I was like, Stanley, 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 Stanley. And he didn't hear me. So the reason why he didn't hear me is because he had left the house. He left safety. He, we were like the next lot from the corner. He went outside to the corner to watch the storm. So he was going after the storm. The storm was not coming after him. What does that have to do with financial freedom? Let's go back to the first story. Because I had no vision of how to push the baby out. I did not have any training or coaching. And I did not have courage enough to ask for help. I was struggling. I was struggling. See, because sometimes we are in a situation and it's a bad situation. And the reason why we're in that situation, because instead of us being in safety, this is where the house comes, comes in. Instead of us seeking safety and shelter and or help, we choose to chase the storm. Sometimes we're at the point where the storm is not chasing us, we're chasing the storm. And we don't realize and the reason why we're chasing the storm is we got into a point in our life where we felt comfortable with the storm. This is not a test. So the reason why this is titled, this is not a test. This is the message that comes across your TV screen and your radios when there's a tornado coming. And it's a, it's a thing telling you that you need to seek shelter. This is not a test. This is a message from your emergency broadcast system. If you are in blank area, seek shelter immediately was the message. This was the information that was given. Places to seek shelter was given in that story. I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Hey, Dave, how are you doing? Places to seek shelter were given. But instead of seeking shelter, my ex-husband in this story was chasing a storm. Why was he chasing the storm? Because he had reached a point of his life where he was comfortable. See, chaos and storms were his friends. He knew that. He was comfortable in that situation. He was comfortable in that situation. So the storm was not always looking for him. He was chasing it. So when I first called out for him, this is listening to the voice of reason, saying, hey, you need to come out, come back in. What are you doing? It's a tornado. It's a storm. The alarms are going off. You got the kids scared. What are you doing? And I did crack a joke. I said, what are you doing? Are you looking? Are you waiting on the bus? That's a storm. That is not a bus. That is not the ride for you. Get your butt in here and seek shelter. What is going on? And it's because he was accustomed to the storm. He didn't have the vision that he needed. 
to, to, to seek anything else. He didn't have the training or the coaching he needed to, to show him that going this direction could be hazardous to his health, to his life. See, many of us, we live our life today because instead of moving away to safety and listening to the voice of reason, we chase in the storm and we run around, we camouflage it, and we say we cannot get anywhere because this person, this person, and that person, but there's an open door that we created. Now, the verse that I gave of uh, Revelations 3 and 8 talks about there's an open door that nobody can close for you. In order for you to reach that door, you have to, you have to listen to the voice of reason. You have to seek knowledge. You have to capture vision. That takes training, that takes coaching, that most importantly, it takes courage. Because what you're doing is you're training your, yourself, your mind, your spirit, your body, and you're tr giving yourself new behavior. Now, scientists like to say it takes 21 days. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But I'm gonna tell you what it does, I do know it takes. It takes courage. It takes courage. And you have to open up your mouth and you have to seek ways in order to counteract those negative things in your environment. Because listen, we were in the closet waiting on the storm to pass. So while we were in the closet, because he did leave and go into the closet with everybody, we were, we were praying. We didn't know what was going to happen during that storm because we were still we were still in that environment. We were seeking shelter, but we were still in that environment. So we had to seek somebody that knew more than we did. So we began to pray. We began to pray because ultimately it's all in God's hands. It's in God's hands. But when the storm passed and it, and it tore everything around us, I like to believe it was God because it tore up. It, all the trees that were around our house was down. Did none of it, none of the trees or debris hit the house. And there were trees all around the house that sh if you would have saw the storm, you would have thought it would, it should have hit the house. Now the house shook because we felt the house shook, but it did not it withstand it withstood the storm. Because and we survived the storm because we sought shelter. We sought somebody that knew more than us. We put action, so we ended up being victorious. And I'm not saying that that happens all the time, but this is just the story. When I was in a labor and delivery room, once the nurse and the nurse told me how to push, there's the training. I could envision what he said because I could see what the right thing to do. I listened to the voice of reason. And so I didn't have fear. I could ask him to make sure that I was understand. Oh, I push like this. Is this what I do? And he said, yes, I need you to keep doing it. I need you to keep doing it. And thus my child was born. This is not a test. Victory is here. And it's maximized because once you seek a coach or some type of training, the thing that a coach does, they help you not only set goals, because a lot of times our dreams are small. They will help you seek goals 
that exceed whatever your ultimate target was. It's important that you learn what your why is. The why is the thing that keeps you going because there's a transition. When we were in the closet, we had to know why we were in the closet. We were in the closet because that was a safe place for us. There was nothing we could do about our environment around us, but we had to seek shelter. That had to be our why. We were praying because we had faith in something that we believe that if we pray to a higher power that we would come out of the storm, away from the storm. And of course we did because you're listening to me today. Why was I listening to the nurse? Because I've had to believe that the nurse had, did, had more experience at delivering babies than I did. I had to believe that that was the right thing to do. And in the course of that, I had to use that why to stay motivated. Because when you're transitioning into your purpose, when you're transitioning to learning what your power is, when you're transitioning to get into the right position so that you can reach great potential or maximize potential, it takes a lot of motivation. There's something called the law of attraction, and I talk about this often. You have to speak positive things into the atmosphere You because there are so many negative things going on, and you have to counteract those things. You have to proclaim it or profess it. You have to say, you know, victory is mine. I know if I do this, I know if I, and you have to, you have to plan that thing. And sometimes you have to replan, but most important, you have to put action to it. And that's where the push come from. In order for you to reach your victory, you have to push toward it. You have to act upon it. Because you can have all the vision you want. You can make all the plans you want. But unless you act upon it, it does nothing. So where do you start? Start by getting some type of training. Sometimes when we start our journey, we don't know what we want. We just know we don't want what we have. We just know that there's something going on that we need to change. So Route to Victory is here. We, we teach money management. We teach elimination of debt. We teach self-reliance. We teach you how to dream. We teach you how to plan, to, to vision a goal, to create a goal, to make plans for your goal, and how to stay motivated in that goal, how to sustain this self-reliance. Because listen, you have one life to live. You have the vic you you can have the victory. Victory is here. You do not have to wait until you pass to have victory because there's an open door. God created an open door for you. The only thing you have to do is push through. And the reason why I say push instead of just walking through is you got to push away that negative thoughts because that's what you're battling. That thing, that thing on the inside, they're telling you you can't do it, and look at you. You you gotten this far. It's too late for you. You've done this, and you've done this, and you've done that to yourself. You need to be real. The reason why it's taking you so long to reach your goal, because you're wasting your time and your money. What is wrong with you? You have to push through those things. Turn away from it. Just like my ex-husband turned away from that storm. He turned away from uh, comfortability. He got out of his comfort zone. 
And that's what you do. You have to get out of your comfort zone. If what you're seeking, if you really want, and that's with any goal, if what you're seeking, if you really want it, you're going to have to step out and get out of your comfort zone. The reason why you may be going through some of the things you're going through is because you got you have gotten complacent. You have gotten comfortable with the storm. And it's time to break up from the storm. This is not a test. Victory is here and it's maximized. And you maximize it by planning. And sometimes you have to replan. You have to figure out, okay, I did this and I got a spark. How what how do I add more momentum? Is it momentum I need? If do how can I configure this this equation in order to reach this result? But it takes action. This is how we push victory. My name is Jackie. I'm the founder and director of Route to Victory. Route to Victory was created to help you learn money management to reduce debt and build self-reliance. I have a couple of offers before I let you go today. Friday is the Real Talk Summit. In order for you to get in on a Real Talk Summit, you go to bit.ly forward slash Real Talk Summit. And it's a smorgasbord of information, of guidance, whether you're an entrepreneur or whether you're not. Whether you're in a situation, because we have financial coaches, we have a financial planner, we have strategy coaches, we have um, we have a, a Catalyst for Change coach, we have a creative coach. There are six people with six different divisions or sections to help you find your victory. Go to bit.ly forward slash Real Talk Summit in order to get into it. If you would like to sign up for coaching to start your journey today, I have an offer for you as a free coaching you go to bit.ly forward slash R as in route, V, I mean, excuse me, R as in route, let me start over, bit.ly forward slash R as in route, the number two, V as in Victor, three. If you're in the Temple, Texas area or, or will be in there on April the 14th, I'll be giving a, a class. It's called Maximize Your Refund Check. And it's more than about your refund check. This is about being able to buy things that you want when you want them instead of waiting to the end of the year, one time of the year, to buy the things that you need and buy the things that you want. This is about stretching your coin, about saving your coin. This is about money management. This is about increasing your income. This is what this class is about. In order to get in this free class, and it's not online, it's in person. It's live. I mean, excuse me, it's in person. And it's in Temple, Texas area at the Temple, Texas Library. You go to bit.ly forward slash max refund check this is the offer this is the voice of reason now you have to make a decision either stay in the storm stay with the storm or break up in the storm break up with the storm and reach your victory that's all i got today thank you for coming thank you for listening to me Replayers, make sure you put hashtag replay. Those who aren't following me on Periscope, please click the dot, dot, dot and follow today. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for your time. My, my prayer for you is that you find a coach, somebody to help you get you where you're going, even if it's not route to victory.
I want you, it's my desire, my prayer that you push your victory. This is not a test. Victory is here and it's maximized. Thank you. Bye-bye.